fantastic. Now let's bring in EJ Ant Antoni. I always try to get the name right. I've got it right this time. EJ Antoni. From here on out, I'm going to call you EJ. Is that okay? He's from the that Heritage works. Foundation. <laughs> they all work. Okay, President Biden says he still sees a rate cut this year. Is he pressuring the Federal Reserve? He wants good news before the election? Oh, absolutely. You know, and Stu, let me just say, I find it absolutely appalling as a monetary scientist that President Biden would pressure the Fed in an election year to cut interest rates at a time when inflation is accelerating. And by the way, it was just yesterday that Maria Bartiromo on your network interviewed James Grant, and he said the Fed views a second Trump term as a clear and present danger to the country. Well, that was confirmed when later yesterday, James O'Keefe dropped in an undercover video where a Federal Reserve economist said the exact same thing. It is appalling how politicized everyone at the Fed is, and frankly, everyone from Powell down has to go. That's interesting. Larry Summers, he's a former Treasury Secretary, he thinks there's this quote, I'm using his words now, serious possibility that the Fed's next move is a rate hike. What do you say to that, EJ? I don't think there's any chance of that happening because of how politicized they are. But there is no question, Stu, that that is the direction they should be going. They should never have stopped hiking rates because inflation was never under control and their own numbers prove it, which is why, again, the word here is appalling. This whole inflation mess, that's surely a big blow to President Biden. Absolutely. And, and the American people are saying that in all of these polls. Stuart, I think you're absolutely right. And it's one of the reasons why, despite all of the gaslighting from this administration, there is no way to turn those polls around because it is not affecting Americans' financial lives. You can only tell people don't believe your, your lying eyes and don't believe your empty wallets for so long. I've said previously on the program, today in fact, that the president's future uh, policies will actually make inflationary pressures increase. You're going to spend a trillion dollars on green, on all things green. I think that's inflationary. What about you? A hundred percent. Stuart, again, I think you're, you're definitely right here. There is a clear link between the trillions of dollars that this administration has spent on all kinds of left-wing boondoggles, especially so-called green energy schemes, and the, and the inflation rates that we have today. You are spending money that we don't have, yeah. so you're borrowing it, and the Treasury is creating the money out of nothing to finance it. Yeah. That is textbook inflation. It's incredible that we're spending more on interest than we are on defending the country. And we're running a $2 trillion deficit in an economy that's expanding 3%. Uh, do, I think there's a debt bomb coming. I don't know when it arrives, but I think it's coming. And the, we're speeding up going towards it. What say you? Uh, again, 100% right, Stu. If you look at the data we got yesterday on, on the March Treasury uh, statement, what we see is that over half, about 55%, of all personal income taxes were consumed just in interest on the debt. No roads and bridges, no schools, no hospitals, military, uh, no Social Security, just interest. That is the Treasury's biggest source of revenue, and most of it is now getting eaten up just by interest payments. This is a problem. This is a debt bomb. Uh, EJ, you've hit the nail on the head on several different occasions today. Thank you very much for being on the show. I know you will be back. EJ Anthony got it right this time. All right, thanks, EJ.